The most rewarding part of the work that I've done in STEM or been involved in STEM is that I actually help create solutions to problems. I think being queer gives you that perspective of a lot of different ways of seeing the world and ways of being and I think in a way it actually t tells us to challenge the way that we have preconceived notions about the way the world works. I think the silver lining of processing all of that um, hate from people just for being who I am and I guess all of those negative experiences is true grit. To me it means that I'm really resilient, I'm really determined and I don't give up easily. I get up at about quarter to five in the morning, I go walk my dogs with my wife. It's really important I think to be part of a workplace that is accepting and supportive of the community and it means a lot to me actually to have that support not just from you know, colleagues that are in a similar level to you but also from higher level management. So it's incredibly important to be in a workplace I think that not only acknowledges that diversity but is also actively encouraging and supporting it. I came out late in life, um, partly because I never really felt the need to come out. I've worked in workplaces where people knew um, that I wasn't straight. Um, it was never really an issue. When I did fully come out, and that meant that I told my family the whole lot, um, it, work was always really supportive of it. Um, yeah, I think it's really nice to see yourself, like your identity and your queerness reflected in other people that you're working alongside and see that representation but I definitely think there's more work to be done. So having diversity means that you've got more opportunities to actually create solutions to problems. So I think it's a, it's a great thing. Diversity is what we want, um, it's what we need. Um, and, and that means, you know, for LGBTQI+, um, it can be cultural diversity, it can be all different types of diversity. Having that mix at the table means that we get challenged in our ideas and we can come up with better ways forward. So um, yeah, it's perfect. Sometimes we think that we have nothing to offer and we're being given this opportunity. No, you're being given that opportunity because you have skills, because you have something that someone needs. So don't forget about what your power is um, and that you have a lot of value. If you love science, um, and marine science or any science, just follow that passion. If you, to, you want a job in the end that you're passionate about, so it's not a job, it's actually something that's fun to do every single day of your life. It surprises people when I tell them I didn't like genetics when I started out at uni. I thought it was too hard and confusing, but now I love it because it opens so many different doors for me. So I think that's my advice for anyone starting out is just try a few different types of approaches to different, different fields or different aspects that you're interested in and just see what sticks and what resonates with you. Because sometimes you can make an entire career out of what was maybe only a fleeting experience at the time.